welcome back to my channel i am just getting ready for the day it's what day is it it's tuesday um it's supposed to be really nice today meaning like i think it's like supposed to be a high of 21 but thunderstorms so i'm going to try and get out and about before the thunderstorms come as they say around 2 p.m that's what my app is saying i wanted to walk to walmart because it's only like a 15 minute walk but i really don't want to be stuck in the rain just in case you never know like it says 2 p.m but it could come in like five minutes weather is so unpredictable but i'm just getting dressed Gemma is hanging out in her little corner that i created i can show you in a bit like what i did but the house is chilly but i really don't want to turn the heat on because it's going to be so nice today i'll probably crack the windows and the nice thing about if it's not windy i can still open some windows because the rain won't come in Gemma's not letting me get ready though she just we've been playing on her mat for like half an hour i walked away for two minutes to get dressed and you're yelling at me this is the corner I created for her. I had pillows back here, but honestly, she's so good at sitting up by herself. It just, it was too much. So I put her nice little cushion out here if she wants to lay back. And then we, well, not we, <laughs> Seb built this for me. I was going to paint the, I, I was going to paint the sides white, but it's particle board. So it's just going to like soak in. It doesn't matter how many layers of white I do. It's just going to soak that paint in and it's going to look crappy so seb said i can buy these strips of laminate from home depot and i'm just gonna like put a strip here and if i have enough maybe on the top but the sides can stay like that i don't care and then the mat i got from winners before she was even born i think it comes with two more squares and i'm like why couldn't you give me three more squares because it could have came out to here but this works and then i just have some books and toys out here this is her little corner because she has outgrown her like bouncer I guess it's called like the thing that she sits in she's just she was bored of it like she played with those toys that are attached to it so many times and I tried to put different toys up there but she really wants to like move around she's starting to crawl so she's yelling at me though so I'm going to make her a bottle I didn't think she was going to be hungry but maybe that's what she wants it's funny because babies can't obviously talk to you so it's like it's like a guessing game as to what they want, what they're yelling at you for. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just getting ready to go for a quick walk this morning because it's sunny. There's no clouds, so I think we're in the clear. And I didn't walk. Seb walked Wilson yesterday, Oops. but I didn't walk Wilson yesterday. And I like to take him out once, maybe even twice a day, depends on the weather and what the plan is but yesterday it was a very busy day i didn't even vlog yes. hey <laughs> um but yeah so i'm just going to give her a bottle she can feed herself and i'll just keep an eye on her because i'm still in pajama pants and i need socks and i need to do my hair i do want to do some running around today I have to, um, there's like random things that I want but don't need, but there's also things that I need. So my goal is just to get the things that we need, but also if I have time or if, you know, it's always based on Gemma's time now, if she's allowing me to stay out longer, then I'll get the things that I want, but my clothes are in the dryer go all the way downstairs something that i want to add to my want list actually it's probably like a need list but just like i feel like i wear the exact same clothes every day and i go for comfort obviously if i'm just going out to the stores like i'm not going to put uncomfortable clothing on just to do a couple shopping rounds but i don't know i just hate my wardrobe and the only pants that are comfy are these. Even my Lulus are too tight for me right now. Like, I, I w I'll wear them, but they're just so tight that I can only wear them for a couple hours or it starts upsetting my stomach. So, I need, I need new clothes. So, one of my goals today is to, oh, <laughs> edit a vlog and have it ready to be uploaded tonight. 
but I can do that when it's thunderstorming. I might as well take advantage of the nice weather. I was gonna put this in, but I think it's only three times a day. It's for my eye that is damaged from my contact lens. Um, I'm just gonna put on some toner. I don't wash my face in the morning anymore. I felt like my face was getting really dried and like um, I was breaking out and then I stopped washing my face in the morning and the breakouts went away. I think I was just like irritating my skin too much. So all I do in the morning is put toner on and then I put this snail mucin. It's supposed to be good for hydration and my face is super dry. Because it's going to be sunny today is what I was saying. I'm going to put on lots of sunscreen to protect to protect my skin we made it out for a walk Gemma has her little cracker I bought a I brought a bottle she kind of still gets like a little feisty when we're walking but she's getting used to it and it's so nice out she slobbered so it <laughs> looks weird but we're out for a nice beautiful walk before it gets stormy I'm just going to have my cheesy pudding while Gemma has a banana and some oatmeal. I tried to give her oatmeal this morning and she was just too tired, so I put her to sleep. But we split a banana. Well, she got like a quarter, I got the rest. And then I just, I ended up putting um, cinnamon in my chia seed pudding this time because I think banana, banana, banana and cinnamon would be really good together, especially apple and cinnamon. Mm. But yeah, we're just going to have a quick little food session and then i think i'm going to do our running around now it's it's almost 10 o'clock but seb comes home for lunch around 12 and i think we're going to barbecue i think so i want to be here for that to spend his lunch break with him and then also yeah it looks like it's gonna rain we made it she's getting feisty so i'm hoping she'll just fall asleep but here's winners and walmart i literally parked as far as you can go so that way we get some exercise while we shop i'm going to start at winners because if i don't get anything big then i can just go right into walmart but i think i'm gonna get a couple things in like as groceries so i don't want anything to get warm while i'm in winners love this stroller combo because like I don't even need to take her out of her car seat I do unbuckle her just so she's a little bit more comfortable but it's even flow and it just like snaps in with a little yeah someone's tired you can hear me it's um a little windy but i ended up just getting those onesies like the three pack of long sleeve uh body suits for Gemma. i wish they did that with pants like i wish they got i wish they gave like or sold like three packs of pants why do they only do that with shirts and body suits it's so annoying because she has shirts she just doesn't have a lot of pants but she doesn't have a lot of long sleeves so that's why i got her those and then I got hand towels, which I can show you later, but I was so tempted to get a mug, but I think I'm gonna wait for the pottery market at the end of April that I was mentioning in the last vlog. Gemma's just learning how to drive a car. I'm showing her horn, beep, beep. 
steering wheel. <laughs> wow. I just wanted her to get a little exercise. She woke up and I just felt bad keeping her in that chair the whole time. So she's just stretching her body and then we're gonna head home. Maybe stop and get a Starbucks. We got back from our running round. I'll show you what I got. So at Winners, I got this set. It's three for $12.99 or it was Kate Spade two for $12.99. And I was like, well, I'd rather the third one. But this one's like super soft. So I'm wondering if I can get away with having that in the bathroom. Because as soon as I left, I was like, huh, probably should have got some hand towels, like colorful ones for the bathroom. But these two are definitely t like kitchen towels. You can just tell by the fabric. But this one's like a, this one's a little bit softer. So I don't know. That one might go in the bathroom, but super cute, summery, springy. And then also this one that I showed you for nine bucks, which is really good. And then Walmart, it was two for 14 for sleepers, which I think that's like the standard price is, yeah, two for 14. It's always like that. I got these ones, which are so cute. And then Seb's gonna love these. I got the dinosaur ones. They seem really big, but once you wash them, they shrink pretty fast. And honestly, I've been doing so much of her laundry because I always run out of sleepers. So I definitely need sleepers. We only have one silicone bib for her with like the pocket so i got two more that was needed also this is our old spring by the way like you can just tell that it's faded but this is what i bought like three years ago for spring i also got two more that was so random <laughs> i also got two more um bottle nipples because we have eight bottles but the pack of like that are on amazon only come in six so i was like that sucks so now i have eight nipples eight bottles it's perfect and then i we were hanging out in the parking lot and i'm going for lunch with a friend tomorrow and she asked me what i was craving and i was like i'm not really craving anything and then all of a sudden whoosh i had a huge craving for sushi and i was like whoa okay well i need to get sushi right now <laughs> so I just stopped at Metro. It's not like the best sushi, but it's still pretty good. It was, I got the Dynamite Crunch Roll. I'm so excited. Seb, Seb is on his way home though for lunch and he's barbecuing um, sausages. So I might just have a couple now and then a couple later, like just kind of snack on it throughout the day versus, you know, have it for lunch because Seb is cooking us sausages. I got baby breasts. This is my favorite flower to have just year around on the table, counter, wherever. It's only $4 for all of this. And baby breasts, is that funny? Baby breasts last a really long time and these ones are looking a little sad. So I'm gonna switch them out. I might grab another one of these and then kind of switch them out because there's five bunches. So I might do two in each and then split one. And then that way, cause this is, this is two. I guess there's three stems, but, so that's not bad. But I might have, it'll look fuller cause these ones are dead and skinny. I've never tried popping, I've really wanted to, but it's hard to find in Canada. This was two for $5. I can buy an entire bubbly case for $5. But I've, I've really wanted to try this for a while. So I just, caved in and got it this is the dog pop i'm guessing it tastes like dr pepper which is my favorite pop and then i got the orange because I, um, I heard the orange is really good so definitely going to be trying these i think i'm going to do like the first review on tiktok i might even convince seb to do it with me because if i open them both i don't want to drink them both so i'll give one to seb and probably the orange because i want this one anyways gotta go but yeah. Like you put that out this morning, right? That bag? Yeah. Gemma is having dinner right now, so I'm just... You don't want dinner? I thought you were hunting. She is so grumpy. 
when Seb got home from work, I ran to the dollar store because I needed a couple things. So I'm just going to show you quickly. I got some brown paint. I have some broad projects coming up that I needed it for. I got this glass bamboo lid jar for my chia seeds. Instead of like having them in a bag, I can have them in this airtight container and look really cute in the fridge. I also got some garden like scissors. I have a pair, but they're all like rusty and gross. So I'm going to try and take better care of these ones. And I thought these were super cute. I also got some more gardening gloves. The ones I have, I don't really like. They're like rubber and they just, I don't know. So I wanted these fabric ones and they're cute. <laughs> and then we just redid our fence and privacy fence in the backyard. So I have this like hook thing that I'm going to get asked Seb to like screw onto the post so I can have a hanging basket from it just to add some color. And then the reason why I went is to get seeds from like for the garden. Well, actually they're not going in the garden. I pulled out all my like planters. I have a bunch of like small ones and medium ones, but I want to go thrifting and find big ones because I want to put these wildflower seeds in all of them just to bring some flowers and color into the backyard. I saw someone on TikTok do it and I, it was so pretty. It's like a fairy garden and I like how it's wildflowers. So you get like a lot of different flowers and colors. I'm really excited to see how that turns out. It was three for one dollar and then it was two cents off. So it's like 33 cents. She's sucking on her broccoli. <laughs> so I grabbed the rest of the wildflowers and then I had to grab one more because it was three for one dollar. So I grabbed this one. Sorry, Luna's trying to be a pest. Oh, she is being a pest. Um, I also got these wildflowers. This whole box is full of wildflowers. This covers 107 feet. So I saw these and then got this because it's like, well, if I don't have enough, because I plan on doing like 30 planters. So I think I'm going to go with this. And then if I need more, I'll go with these because these will last forever. And I opened the box in the truck because I wanted to see what they would look like. I thought they were going to be in like a bag, but no, it's just like, just the box is just full of seeds. So I'm really excited to see how that turns out. I'll probably do that in the next vlog just because I still need to go thrifting and find some pots, fill them with soil and then spread the seeds. But I want to do that soon because they need to sprout and, and bloom. I'm just getting ready for the day. I put my contacts in, which might be um, something that I regret later. My eye was basically healed, but I have running around to do and I'm going for lunch with a friend. I just, um, what's it called? I just like not blow dried my hair, like the styling brush I use just to like give myself some more volume and get rid of the creases and stuff. I put Gemma to bed like she was sleeping in my arms. I put her in her crib and she thinks it's party time. Like she didn't sleep at all. So I'm just trying to like leave her alone and hopefully she can fall asleep by herself. Usually overnight curls I do at night and sleep in them. But I was honestly so tired last night. I didn't tidy the house, which is something I do every night before I go to bed. So I wake up to a clean house. And I didn't start the dishwasher. So when I woke up this morning, it was a mess. But I was able to clean it up and get that all organized. So I'm going to put I'm going to put a little bit of this nourishing curl cream. It defrizzes, hydrates, and adds shine. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to put it wet or damp hair. My hair is obviously dry. But I'm going to just put a smidge and hopefully because I don't have any hairspray. And hopefully it helps my hair um, hold curl. And if it doesn't, that's fine. The last time I did this, it actually just like ended up looking like a blowout later in the day, which is also fine. Just gave it a little bit of more dimension. So I'm just going to put this in and hopefully it's okay. <laughs> I'm in the middle of getting ready and I feel so uncomfortable. Like... I just, I don't know, lately, the past, like, I'm going to say three days, I've been feeling so insecure about my body. Like, Seb, like, checked me out yesterday. Like, he, like, looked at me because I was wearing pajama shorts and he, <laughs> anyways, 
And I was like, oh, what are you looking at? And he's like, I really like your pajama shorts. Like, they look cute on you. And I was like, oh, don't look at me. Like, it's just, I'm so uncomfortable in my body right now. And it started three days ago because, and I can probably, like, I can pinpoint the exact moment I was editing one of my vlogs and I saw my body in like an angle and it doesn't help that I'm using wide angle like wide angle obviously makes me look wider than what I actually am and I was like is that what I look like so ever since that I've been like struggling but I don't know I feel like I look fine I decided to go with my loose fitted shirt that I got from Walmart. It was like five bucks. It is stained right here, but I only wore it for maybe like an hour, an hour and a half. But Gemma got it dirty, <laughs> like always. She gets all of my clothes dirty, but I like it because it hides, you know, my lower belly and my upper belly, just like this whole area. <laughs> but I feel comfortable. Probably just put on some white sneakers and a shacket. I'll just make sure that my like pocket is covered. I just put on perfume, deodorant, my jewelry. I, oh my God, there's like birds fighting out there. I am going to take my hair out last minute. I'm going to get Gemma's bottles ready, make sure her bag is packed. I'm probably gonna go start the Beamer because it needs to warm up because it's a diesel. And then when, and then I'm gonna take my hair out, make sure I don't need to fix it or anything. And then wake her up, give her a diaper change. She's still in pajamas, so I have to put her in an outfit. And then we'll head out. But I want to wait till the last minute because she's only been sleeping for like 20 minutes. The longer she sleeps, the better. But also, maybe not because then she'll sleep longer this afternoon. I don't know. We need to find like a sleeping schedule because every single day, her sleeping, like her napping schedule is so different. Like... I'm not even going to explain it. It's it's different every day. We just go with the flow. But now that she's six months, I was told around six months to start like a sleeping habit schedule. So I think I'm going to look into that. If you have any recommendations, please leave them below because I have no idea. No idea. I'm going to take my hair out because she's ready to go. I didn't turn the beamer on just because like it's not that cold out. But um... Ooh. Oh, I clipped this one back, by the way, because it was loose again, and I just, hopefully the clip didn't ruin it in any way. Okay, so this was only, oh, I have to look back at my time stamps, but this was not long at all. Maybe that cocaine cream really helped, but even if it, it's going to drop a little bit, obviously, as the day goes on. I was in for an hour and three minutes, so... It probably won't last, which is fine. I don't expect it to. It didn't the last time I did this way. Because the last time I did this way, I was also in a rush. But I'm just going to put a little bit of a shine cream on it. It's by Design Me. It's gloss. Like, it's supposed to make your hair nice and shiny. Not, like, nice and shiny. Like, just, you know, healthy. Is that her? Oh, it's a bird's. The birds are fighting, and I thought it was her waking up. I was like, yes. Oh, I have to look. Wilson, hey, buddy. You want to go outside? I forgot about you. Sorry. I've just been so busy this morning. So my morning isn't going that good. Um, Gemma was no problem. She's been awake since home, so I feel like she's going to fall asleep anytime soon. I had her up in like right here because i went to encore auctions i bidded on i won a bid on a rug last night encore auctions is like a online bidding amazon returns and other store returns there's like other ones like encore mckenzie there's a new one in london but you get like returns that's like nothing's wrong with them for discounted i've talked about them before many times but I got a rug for the living room because we need an area rug badly. So literally the perfect, perfect rug came up last night and I bid on it and I won it for $60. It was regular $215. So I, I basically, like, all the rugs in the house right now, I bought off Encore Auctions. Because usually people buy them off Amazon or um, 
Bed Bath & Beyond and like stuff like that and they just don't fit the area that they bought it for so they return it so nothing is wrong with them so anyways I am waiting and I'm waiting and people that arrived after me are getting their stuff and I was like like I've been waiting longer like where's my rug maybe because it's like heavier so they need to like you know I don't know whatever so I'm sitting there and then I get an email and I read the email and they misplaced my rug how do you misplace a rug like my guess is that somebody grabbed the wrong rug and gave it to somebody and like gave it to whoever bought another rug and accidentally swapped the rugs and it's not the right rug I don't know that's my guess but now we have no rug and I was so excited for that rug it was perfect it was a perfect rug so they're gonna try and locate it at, and if they don't find it by the end of the day then they are going to refund me which okay cool but now I'm at a rug and I was so excited I literally woke her up from her nap specifically to go and pick up the rug and now we don't have a rug <laughs> And then when I was driving here, I noticed that I forgot to glue on this nail. That was something that I wanted to do before I left, but that's okay. Okay, I just parked the car. I'm at Canadian Tire. I have to get a couple things, but I have to be quick because I need to meet Jess for lunch. I just feel like I need to get something done before lunch because that was my goal is to leave early to get my running around done. And I wasted an hour, not even, a, yeah, maybe an hour of driving and like waiting for the rug that I didn't even care. So now I'm just going to quickly go into Canadian Tire and get a couple things that I want. Um, Gemma's getting tired, so that's a good sign. She'll be sleeping during lunch probably, which will be nice. But yeah, I need to be quick. Um, I need glass containers, soil, um, and like a clear coat to spray some pots that I'm painting for outside just so the weather doesn't ruin them so come with me Gemma is getting really fussy she's ready for a nap but I always forget that I can't record in the stores because of copyright so I found the containers like where they were supposed to be and they were all sold out and I'm like of course but I didn't have time to find somebody and ask for like help but then Jess is running 15 minutes behind. I'm like, oh my gosh, that was perfect. So I asked and they got some from the back. I got a bag of topsoil. I was driving away and completely forgot about it. So I had to turn around and go back and get the bag, which luckily I was literally like 20 seconds away. But like I pulled out of the spot to leave and I was like, oh, topsoil. So I had to turn around. But and then I asked Seb what he had for like ceiling for outdoor like planters and he said he has something he's pretty sure in the garage so I didn't buy anything for that I just want to see what he has first but we're on our way to lunch I think Gemma is going to be passed out hopefully by the time we get there we're about I'm gonna say 15 minutes away which we have 20 so that's perfect because it's street parking so I need to find a spot and then get her out with a stroller and then walk there so hopefully we make it on time I hate being late for things I still have to go to Walmart and return the containers that I bought yesterday because I didn't notice that they were on sale at Walmart or sorry Canadian Tire like a huge discount so um, yeah, I'm switching all from plastic containers to glass containers slowly but surely. So the sale was really good. That's why I picked them up. And then I need to go to the Dollarama at some point, but that's not really like urgent. I can like I can go later when Seb gets home from work. Um, I just need white paint. I forgot white paint yesterday at the Dollarama, but not urgent. But we're, we're heading to lunch. I'm starving. I stopped at Value Village on the way home from lunch to see if they had any pots. That was on my to-do list and it was we we're driving by it. So I just went in quickly with Gemma and I don't know when um, Value Village's prices went up, but it's so expensive. I was like, oh my goodness. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do because I need pots to paint and to seal to put wildflowers in so i don't know just unboxing these 
glass containers. We have rectangular, and now I got circle. Circle, circle, circle. Just to see what they have. That was very rude. So, four, four, and one big, big one. Which Seb was complaining that we didn't have enough big ones. So, hopefully he's happy with this. This is a seven cup. This is a four. Where is it? Four cup, yeah. And then this is a two cup. So between three of these and one of these, hopefully he's happy with the sizes. I think that was a really good deal. Maybe next time they go on sale, I'll grab one more in the future. Like, whoops, not anytime soon, but like in the future. And then that way I can get rid of all of my plastic containers. I just got out of Walmart. I wanted to come to walmart quickly because it was my last thing on my to-do list seb actually went to home depot to get baseboards he's starting them and i was like hey since dollar ram is right there can you do one of my errands for me so he got white paint for me sorry i was just cleaning off my cameras they're dirty so that was off my to-do list and then my last thing was walmart tomorrow is supposed to rain all day so i don't want to go out i want to actually have like a chill day i feel like by wednesday night thursday i have like a hair i can see it. oh it's on my glasses uh by wednesday night thursday i'm like just ready for a chill day because friday to wednesday i'm go 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 so that is what i'm doing tomorrow i say that now but I'm always doing something, but I feel like the rain will really help me just relax and chill. <laughs> um, I So yeah, I go into Walmart. I got some more diaper wipe, wipes wipes for Gemma, obviously. This is um, water wipes. She had a bad reaction to, I don't even remember what she used, like friends and something like the green packaging. And she got a really bad diaper rash, so I don't use those anymore. I just use this one and they don't irritate her at all and then i switched to this diaper cream literally like right now i hope it goes well it's hyperallergenic dermatologist tested and yeah this was seven dollars versus the one that i'd always get tiny bit bigger than this and 22 dollars so i was like oh, and she like i couldn't i can't even say she uses a lot of diaper cream i use a lot of diaper cream i don't use like a ton but she used she has like so many diaper changes a day right so it goes pretty quick and it's like something that you don't really think about so i got that one hopefully it works out well for her oh my god i can't reach oh god this is the formula she uses it's the soy po protein because she had a bad reaction with cow's milk so this is what the doctor put her on i have little coupons for like $15 so I've been trying to use those because this is $43 and it does her five six days I would usually buy two of these a week so her her food's like $90 a week right now so yeah I got a bra because I don't own a bra I, I haven't worn a bra in over a year because I was pregnant and it was just comfortable to wear sports bras and that's what I've been sticking to lately but I want something to help, you know, hopefully there's no men watching, but like, you know, perk up the girls because they're, um, after having a child, they're just, you know, <laughs> anyways, I am, I guessed on my size. I don't even know if that's going to fit, but we'll see. I got these shorts. They look like mom shorts. They were $16. The summer stuff's out and I was like, I better go now because Walmart is actually really nice like they actually have really nice clothes but it goes fast like I feel like a lot of people are catching on to Walmart it's almost like a target for the states like they actually have really cute clothing I just don't know why people, a lot of people don't buy from Walmart well apparently they do because they're always sold out but anyways I snagged these up size medium I don't think they're gonna fit but hopefully when it's like actual short weather I'm down a couple pounds and feel a little bit more comfortable and confident to wear shorts um but yeah, they're kind of like, I want to work out and I want to lose weight. So if I don't feel comfortable in these, it'll kind of like push me to work harder and lose weight so I can wear them. 
or if I absolutely hate them, I'll just return them. I don't know. I'm really nervous for summer because I just like, I like baggy uh, clothes. So I feel like I'm going to be in like a lot of dresses, which is fine. I love dresses, but I don't know. Now I'm thinking out loud. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm going to go home and just relax with Seb. We are going to catch up on Big Brother. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like it's going to be a long vlog, so hopefully that's okay. And it means a lot to me when you guys like and subscribe. I'm trying to build my YouTube family. It's at like it's been stuck around 380 for a while. So, I'm trying to like get my name out there more and when you guys like and subscribe it pushes my name out there and it pushes my channel out there so i really appreciate it follow me on other social platforms i only use instagram and tiktok it's ash metcalf with two f's at the end like always but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a good morning afternoon night whatever time you're watching this and i'll see you in the next one